I am Nicholas Short from the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Um, you know, so we know that TP53 mutations in AML are associated with poor prognosis. And so the one question that we hope to answer was whether or not assessment of variant allelic frequency is uh, similarly prognostic and also might influence um, a, a appropriate uh, frontline therapy for these patients. So we evaluated 202 patients with AML uh, and assessed the variant allelic frequency. The median uh, variant allelic frequency was about 40%, and we found that to be the most prognostic cutoff. Um, and interestingly, what we saw was that the, the impact of variant allelic frequency was different across different types of treatment. So we separated patients into those who received standard cytotoxic chemotherapy or those that received uh, you know, hypomethylating agent uh, combinations. And what we found was that uh, as uh, variant allelic frequency increased, the response rates significantly declined for patients who received chemotherapy, uh, but not so for patients uh, who received hypomethylating agents where the response rates were similar regardless of the variant allelic frequency. And so we saw similar um, uh, findings uh, for patients uh, re with regard to relapse rates, relapse free survival, and overall survival, where uh, variant allelic frequency strongly impacted outcomes uh, for patients uh, who were treated with conventional chemotherapy, uh, but not for those uh, who uh, received hypomethylating agents. And so we, we tried to see whether there was a population who might have particularly, at least uh, not as unfavorable outcomes as we typically see with TP53 mutated AML. And we saw that those patients who had a variant allelic frequency less than 40%, uh, who only had one mutation, uh, actually had a median survival of 17.6 uh, months or a two-year overall survival rate uh, of 38%. And so what our approach based on these data has is now going forward is that for this uh, subset of patients, uh, it's about a third of patients who have these more favorable risk features, we do still offer them conventional uh, chemotherapy. Uh, however, for any patients who have a variant allelic frequency uh, of 40% or greater or, or who have two or more uh, uh, TP53 mutations, our approach is to enroll all of these patients onto a clinical trial, uh, uh, ideally with uh, a novel agent that's shown promise uh, in TP53 mutated AML, specifically megrolimab or APR246.